everyone, Ava Paul here, and we have another Masterverse figure. This time it's She-Ra, Princess of Power. And it's from Mattel. Now oh, my box came a little damaged. I had this pre-ordered, and a little thing up there. I was like the bottom here, I got a little crushed too. Eh, I mean, it's not a big deal, but whatever. Now, this is a big box. I didn't think it was going to be in such a, like, one of the uh, deluxe edition boxes. But, you know, whatever. You see here, there's a little 40th anniversary. So you can see that. There you go. Awesome. And she comes with an extra head, hands, her shield, her sword, and another cape. She has one on behind her. I don't know if you can see that. And if we turn it here, get a nice picture of here, of her here calling on the power. And here, just a She-Ra, most powerful woman in the universe. And I love the back of the box here. Her on, I can never remember the name of the, uh, her Pegasus steed here. Alright, well it says She-Ra, most powerful woman in the universe. When Adora raises the sword of protection above her head and cries, For the honor of Grayskull, she transforms into She-Ra, princess of power, and leader of Etheria's great rebellion. And he's got some more figures down here. He-Man from the uh, Netflix CGI show, which I love that. I think I have that pre-ordered. I don't know. I would have it by now if I did. I'm going to have to check. I have a lot of things pre-ordered. We've got Zodiac, Skeletor also from the CGI. we got Katra and Hordak. All right, so why don't we get this lovely lady unboxed and take a closer look. All right, well, here she is. Looks great. Now, my cape is a little bit messed up because of the way they had it in the plastic. I don't really like that. You know, it has one of those things where it's like the plastic tray, but they put the cape behind it through a little cutout. So you gotta pull it through. Yeah. But, still cool. Yeah, so let's look at some accessories first. So we got her sword here. Even has the little, what is that, turquoise colored gem in there. And we got her shield. Pretty cool. It has the color of the turquoise on the inside and on the little gem. So let's see how that goes. Let's put that on her. And there. Perfect. Pretty good. Nice and snug. Take that off. And let's test out the sword. See how that fits. And is this snug too? Yeah, I'd say that's good. That's not going to fall out. Nice. Alright. Now she came with extra hands. We got another one that's good for holding swords. And a fist. Alright. So what else we got? Well, we have an extra head. This is her with her whole, like, costumed up mask and everything. And it goes straight down. You can't take it off. Which would be kind of cool if you could. Just because her mouth is open here. I don't know why. Closed mouth on this one, though. I mean, hmm, whatever. And then she comes with another cape. That goes with that head better. It's a longer cape. Pretty good looking. Although, I'm definitely not going to keep this mask on. I like the other one more. Yeah, so it's cool that she comes with two different heads. You know, you can have her battle ready. Or like this. This is how I remember she in the show. Is always like this. Never wearing this. I mean, did she wear this in the old show? I can't remember. I have it on DVD, but I just don't remember her ever wearing that. But I do like the cape. You know, it's nice cloth material. So, she's got on the gold wing headpiece, a little red there. I think the face looks really good. Then we got her little, another teal jewel in the center. She's got gold gauntlets, golden boots, and if you look at the boots, you can actually see there's a design on them. Some wings. Pretty cool details. And she has also... It kind of looks like a, I would say, flower design, almost. 
I don't know if you can see that. It's just painted on with a little darker color of gold or copper, whatever color that is. She's got a skirt with some you know, bendable plastic or rubber, whatever that is. All right, so articulation, uh, pretty much all the same for all of the Masterverse line. We got the head, and even though she has all that hair, we can still get it to go all the way around. And the cape free, freely moves around too. I mean, it's just like attached by that ring around the neck. So she can look down. Mm, not really up. Up is about the same as straight. Because her hair is going to prevent her from doing anything like that. Side to side, not so much. Yeah, it doesn't really want to go side to side. And then we got the arms. They go up to 90. Oh, can we push it? Nope, 90. And of course it'll go around. Then the top of the bicep. That's also spins. We got double jointed elbows. Let's see how... Let's get that part to bend. Come on. Alright, so I finally got it to bend. Uh, right at the top of the elbow bend, at the bicep area, that's really hard to do. I didn't want to move at all. Oh, my blackened fingers from dye. Yeah, I'm still working on Halloween costumes. Dyeing lots of fabric. Taking forever. Alright, so we got the hands. They will spin around. And they do have a flip flap. in a little bit more. Yeah, if you try flip it, flipping it too far, it kind of pops the hand almost out of the uh, ball joint area. Just because her gauntlets go so far out. And then we got right here at her waist. That can not really spin. I mean, it can, but not that well. I don't want to break it. So, yeah, that, I'm not going to go all the way around. That's pretty much it. Come on. Come on. Alright. So then she can teeter side to side. That's her going forward, back. Really not much because she kind of goes back in a position. Oh well. Let's see. Then we got the legs. Now the legs, because of the skirt she's wearing. Well, actually, no, even with the skirt, she can still go all the way out. Wow. I didn't think it was going to. Then forward. Oh, wow. Still good, even with that skirt. Very nice. I thought it was going to prevent her from being able to move too much. Back is good. And then right here at the top of the thigh, we have another tristable area. And we got double jointed knees. Let's see if this goes any easier. There we go. That was easier than the elbow. Nice. Alright. Then right here, below the knee, you can also twist it. And then, we got the feet. If you can flip up. Flip down. And it's got that spinning rotate thing. So yeah, I think this is a cool figure. I really like how Masterverse is going and just bringing things from other lines. Uh, giving them, like, updated looks to everything. Yeah, you know, I'm going to get the CG characters for the new Netflix He-Man show. Uh, they're still doing the ones for, what is it, uh, Revelations. And I'm really hoping they, I know a lot of people didn't like the show, but I kind of want to see the other She-Ra show get a figure the, uh, the the one that no one likes. <laughs> All right, so that's just been my review of Mattel's Masterverse Princess of Power, She-Ra. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And you know, as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.